Good day. My name is Robin Thomas and in this video I'm going to be showing you the demonstration for our project. Now the project title is Object Detection and Recognition using YOLO to assist the visually impaired. Now I'm going to start off by showing the components which will be used for our project. Now to start off this is a Raspberry Pi. This is what it looks like with the cover. And this is how it looks like inside. It comes with an Ethernet port and four USB ports, along with a bunch of I.O. ports as well. The next component we will be using for the first module, which is object classification, is the webcam. We use this webcam to capture video from the user's point of view and use our train classifier to identify them. This is a simple mic. We will be using this as part of our second module, which is a speech-to-text module of our project. This will take in a simple input and will use a Python script to convert it to a text, which will then be processed against the list to check if the object is present in the field of view of the person. We'll also be using a mouse to control the Raspberry Pi as well as a simple keyboard. Now this is the experimental setup for our project. We have the keyboard, the mouse, the webcam and the microphone which are all connected to the Raspberry Pi as you can see in the video. The Raspberry Pi is then powered to a wall socket and the display adapter is connected to a monitor as shown over here. I have now booted up the Raspberry Pi and I have opened up the project folder. Now we have initialized a virtual en environment VENV. After that we execute the python file using the command python3 followed by the file name which in this case is tflight underscore detection underscore webcam dot pi. As you can see, we have successfully connected to the webcam. And the webcam has already started detecting some objects. Let us see if it can detect the mouse. As we can see, it's detecting person which is my hand and the mouse is also being detected as well. Next we will try making it identify the keyboard. As we can see almost instantaneously the keyboard was detected and is identified with a certainty of 73%. Next I will try to make it recognize a cell phone. From the demonstration it is clear that our classifier is capable of recognizing common household products. But how does this assist the visually impaired people or the elderly? Well, this is where the speech-to-text module of our product comes in. This gives the individual the ability to dictate an object's name to the mic, which I had shown earlier. And this will be processed by a speech-to-text algorithm. This will be demonstrated by Sayaditya. Over to you. This is the module where we intend to get the audio input from the user and let them confirm the object to be detected. Now if the object to be detected is right, then it proceeds with searching in the received objects list what we get from the frames and provide the necessary output. Else it gets the input again from the user for the object to be detected. To demonstrate this, we have this small set piece of code which I'll be running. What is the object you want to detect? Television. Is television the object to be detected? Yes. Object found in the vision. What is the object you want to detect? Remote. Is remote the object to be detected? No. What is the object you want to detect? Is remote the object to be detected? Yes. Object not found in vision. Please change field of view.
What is the object you want to detect? Remote. Is remote the object to be detected? No. What is the object you want to detect? Keyboard. Is keyboard the object to be detected? Yes. Object found in the vision. Images is a vital part which helps us to train our detection model. We need to feed in labeled images to the model which has objects enclosed within the boxes and a label named to it. The process of labeling images will now be explained by Danusha. Over to you. But in this project is of uh, labeling pictures or labeling images. Uh, so this is very useful in image uh, segmentation part. So the steps for labeling the pictures are Firstly, we'll take image as an input and then we will divide that image into various segments and after segmentation, we'll, uh, we'll consider each region as a separate image, uh, pass all these regions to the CNN and then classify them into various classes. Once we have divided each region into uh, its corresponding classes, we can combine all these regions to get the preferred image so for this thing i have taken the software known as direct label it's uh, the software which is useful for object detection and segmentation so basically how we will uh, label the images in this software is that we will draw a bounding box rectangular box or polygon or any uh, shape based on our own requirement and we will uh, firstly we'll give a predefined data set for example in our project we have taken some uh, data set of a uh, person uh, we have collected images manually around 200 uh, like for person for water bottle and for mobile phone like that we will give the predefined data set over there so uh, after labeling the image using that software what uh, it will do is that by seeing the uh, predefined data set it will automatically label the images and after that it will export to YOLO so this is what basically labeling is for example now in the software uh, we'll have uh, a different objects like this is the uh, uh, predefined data set over there then uh, here I have uh, calculated this thing so that after labeling it will show the percentage like how this is for example it's showing person as 58.59 so it recognizes that this particular uh, object as person by using predefined data set using uh, rect label this was presented by robin thomas sadithya and danusha thank you very much